Over the years, many of you have fallen in love with Power Grip, ranging from our PG6 all the way up to our PG32 collie systems. Well, guess what? Some of you wanted something bigger, and we listened. Introducing the PG48 single. With the PG48, you can now clamp up to an inch and a half with our Power Grip system. These heavy duty, rigid tool holders have that ease of use and vibration dampening you all know and love in a much bigger package. With the PG48, you can now utilize our system on much larger, more powerful machines. So we're here in Troy, Michigan, thanks to Heller, to show off the new F6000 and the new Power Grip PG48. So I've been really excited to check out the F6000 and show off the new PG48. Something that makes this machine unique with its five axis swivel head design is that it has a pallet changing system and you can actually machine on both sides of the pallet. There's options for milling, turning, interpolation turning, power skiving. You have access to all the automation library that Heller has. You can get rotary pallet changers. It's a high torque machine with direct drive turning. There's so much you can do with this machine in such a compact space. Something that makes this machine really easy, but also incredibly powerful to operate is the Sinmaric One Control. It's standard, it's convenient, and it comes with Heller's operation integration system. We've partnered with Mitsubishi Materials to make this ISO grid aerospace component at a 7075 aluminum. What we get to do with this demo is showcase their inserted tooling, the PG48, and the Heller F6000 in a mostly dry environment so you can really see the power behind these tools. Most of the tools you see in this demo are coming from Mitsubishi's AXD 4000 line. And to be completely honest, these tools are amazing. We're able to use this face mill to obviously face the part, but also rough the outside down to the bottom. I absolutely love these tools. They leave mirror finishes even when they're dry. Now we switch to a smaller AXD 4000 mil, same family, just a little bit smaller part, and we're able to rough the outside and basically just rip out all this extra material. And with this being 7075 aluminum, we can use the same tool to rough and finish. If this was a production environment, it might be nice to have a sister tool, but as you can see, this can rip through the material just fine and still leave a beautiful, nice, shiny finish when it's done. Something that's unique about this setup is that we're using the PG48, but we actually have a Regal Fix Power Grip extension. Something that a lot of people don't know is that our Regal Fix extensions are H6 ground. That's gauge bin tolerance. While we're on the subject of power grip, we just want to show you how easy it is to set up the PG48 with this Mitsubishi three quarter drill. Every PG48 tool holder comes standard with secure grip. This makes sure that we can take big, heavy cuts with lots of change in directions, lots of material removal, and not worry about collet coming out. Now we can run that three quarter Mitsubishi MVX drill, pop a couple holes in here to mount this ISO grid.
and then we've dropped to another AXD 4000, this time a one inch indexable mill, to go ahead and do the counter bores and just open this up. This same tool is roughing and finishing each of these pockets. This ISO grid format is used to remove a lot of material while still maintaining a lot of structure. You see this a lot in the aerospace industry in different shapes and sizes. And basically, it gives you uh, reinforcing panels or covers or basically just lets you still maintain a very strong piece while reducing weight. Something I love about this demo is the multi-axis move to finish the pockets. You can see that as the part rotates, we're actually finishing each one of those quarters. It's a beautiful artistic kind of move that I love seeing on this Heller machine. We wanted to show off a five axis move with the IMX20 exchangeable head from Mitsubishi. We're using this swarf cut pass to chamfer the outside of the part in each of these pockets. Then we have the chamfer tool to come on, clean up the counter bores and the inside um, hole for the drill. So we have a nice clean burr free mounting surface. This has been an absolute blast working on this aerospace part. We just want to send out a huge thank you to both Heller and Mitsubishi Materials for all their support with this project. And we look forward to making more cool and interesting parts here at the CME.